What's up, guys? Welcome back to Watch Dogs Legion. So, now, we last episode, we ended up finding Angel. Wasn't in a very good place. But, now, we're heading back to base to have a team briefing. And then afterwards, I'm thinking we can do a little side stuff. I'm just going to say fuck it. Because I want to do it before we get to the end. Because you get special operatives for doing these and, and uh, clearing out a burrow. And this one, we got a spy. So, it sounds pretty fucking awesome to me. So we'll do this, and then uh, for the rest of the time, we'll um, we'll uh, do some side stuff. Clearing out some places and whatnot, getting tech points. Wow. Like Fair enough, I've been talking to me, motherfucker. Better watch your mouth. Watch the dog. I've heard from Inspector Lau. We're ready for the briefing. All right. Try to go down here. And we'll be good to go. Got all our boys and girls. Mary Kelly heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rivals started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapons smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Darla Covington, 19. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stokkovich, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good help these days, isn't it, love? Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purpose. Oh, that'll be me, love. We aren't finished here. This was a courtesy. Oh. Give my regards to their families, it's horrible losing someone you love. It's meeting you. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. But there is one place she feels comfortable talking. The sandstone residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. I thought a strong enough case couldn't be buried. That's a nice idea. But you have to know it sounds naive. What makes you think that this time will be different? Because I'm taking it to a contact in the Attorney General's office. An honest solicitor with a hard-on for organized crime, specifically for Mary Kelly. Look, our methods may differ, but I want to help those people as much as you do. All right. But however this goes down, there's no way we're letting Mary slip the net again. That's not how DedSec does things. Let's get to Sandstone. All right, I didn't want to leave and then it cuts it off and whatnot. Um, so... It seems like a good spot to uh, break away for some um, grenade launcher. Oh my god! I just can't handle this right now. 
Oh, we're looking at the doctor here. Being Brant recruit their pa recruited their patient. Who's the patient? Doesn't matter. Um. So we can start. What is this for? That's a safe house. New mission. We won't worry about that. Disrupt propaganda. We'll start there. So, I think what we'll start doing is we'll start doing a mission until it's complete. And then, uh, if we have extra time, we can start doing some side stuff in whatever borough we're in. And uh, it doesn't mean we're going to completely finish a borough in one episode, but we'll start making moves to actually get it done. Um... Because it'll be worth it to get the the operatives. It doesn't make sense to uh, to go the whole game and then at the end do the side stuff and get the operatives. It doesn't make sense to do it like that. Okay, I wish I had a drone. Here we go. I can take a look inside and see what I'm looking at. Up. Is it on the roof or something? Oh yeah, shit. All the way up here. Okay, can I get a cargo drone? Okay, so if I go zoom in, there's no spots where I can call a cargo drone. Which means, if I'm doing side stuff, I'm gonna have to switch my operative. Just so that I can, uh... I can get, because the cargo drone is going to be perfect for everything we're trying to do. Hello, hello. Someone else slapped off work, and now it's All your right. turn. Fantastic. So, let's get our cargo drone called in. Hello, sir. Come on down. Now I'm All right. Sick. Let's just get high so that we don't we don't get spotted. So I got to avoid that drone right there, but I can disable it if I want to. But I don't know if it's even gonna see me. Let's just do this quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hmm. Good place okay. for some art. There we go. What the fuck do I know? Looks okay to me. <laughs> I can't believe Albion had the brass to spatter their propaganda all over Buckingham Palace. When this is all over, maybe there'll be a knighthood in it for me. Sir Bagley has a ring, doesn't it? Come on. Feel free to use it anytime. Okay, L1 to hijack. Get out of here before that thing fucking gets back up. We'll head down, we'll find the bike that I had. I think I parked it over here. Is it just gone? Oh no, here it is. You're being detected. Oh shit, put the nail gun away. I'm just a construction worker. Alright. Map. Next. Pop up here. Oh, another propaganda one. Alright. Rip over there. Alright, I assume it's gonna be up again. Hello, sir. Alright, let's go. I don't see anybody. Which is good. So I can get a spider bot in there? You're, you're, that's what you're trying to tell me? Okay, so there's a vent somewhere that I can use to get through. I'm assuming it's going to be in here. Choo! There it is. Nice. Okay. We'll scoot through here, pop out on the other side. And that'll be it. 
Uh... One hour later. Okay, so here's what we have to do. Pick this sucker up. Drop it there. And then... Throw the spider bot right in through here. Okay. Sick. What I like to see. Hello, sir. We shall never surrender. Okay, let's get up to the roof. Grab our cargo drone back. We freaking can. To think that Albion vandalized this advertising to try and control people's thoughts when this perfectly nice corporation paid good money to do that. Justice served, kind of. Oh, I thought I fucking killed myself. I was about to be pissed. You've done it. Okay. All our Back Westminster to the targets have been accounted for. Albion's hurting and the people are coming out of their shells. I've even got a member of parliament here contacting us. Say again? Yeah, I thought it's strange too. Says she has an idea how we might rally the people in the borough. You should meet her. Okay. Interesting. Is that what this is? No. Missions. Borough missions, like clockwork. Reach Parliament Square Gardens. DedSec disrupted all of Albion's operations in the borough of Westminster and was contacted by a former member of Parliament. She has information that could be useful. Meet the in informant and find out how to rally the people of the borough. But, we're not done. Or is this technically... Okay, so it's in the opposite thing. Okay, so we're done here. So, we could do this mission. We have five minutes. I say we do it, because I think there's going to be a little bit of editing, so we'll be able to cut a little bit of it out. But, we'll get a new operator. Oh, there she is. Hello? You look for the dead sick, yes? Wasn't sure you'd come knowing I'm part of the establishment. Or at least I was until Albion dismissed Parliament. I do want to say, what you've done in Westminster is remarkable. You've given the people hope. The government's not innocent. But they can't take all the credit. Albion took advantage of their weakness and fear. I couldn't agree more. That's why I contacted you. Albion haven't simply shut down the government. They've sullied the Palace of Westminster, the Great Bell, with their propaganda. Do you understand what that looks like? If you really want to rekindle some of the people's fighting spirit, then restoring the clock tower would go a long way. Sometimes a symbol is more important. Albion looks legit, but we know better. We need to give this symbol back to the people. I knew I could count on you. It would be wonderful to hear the bell once more. Well, that sounds like it's going to be a pain in the ass. Alright, well here's what we're gonna fucking do. We're gonna call in your boy. Your boy the cargo drone. Come on down. Cargo Jones. There is some security around the bell tower, but that shouldn't pose a problem. A bigger issue will be getting to the top. What now, you'll think? A spider bot uh, should do the trick. Getting... What do you mean? What do you mean a spider bot? Let's just get close enough to the ground so that I can jump off. Okay. <laughs> oh shit! Let him walk by. Fuck. We might have screwed ourselves. Go back the other way, my friend. Yeah, go check it out.
Come on, let me in. Let me in. Oh. The path up to the top of the tower is treacherous. All crawl spaces and gantries more suited to six mechanical legs than two human ones. Sounds like fun time. I really hope getting out was as easy as getting in. Hmm. Lovely. Alright, a little platforming. What are you gonna do? Deal with it. Shit, I'm going way too fucking fast. I gotta slow down or else I'm gonna fuck up. It's really only a matter of time. Yep. Uh Love to see it. Flying. I'm just flying through this. Holy shit. I gotta be more careful. Or else I'm gonna fall my ass all the way back down and then I'm gonna be pissed. Okay. Cool. The hell is that? The hell was that noise? Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. We only fucked up once. And wasn't really that bad of a fuck up. Kinda just misjudged. Come on back down there, bud. Shoot. There we go. Shoot. Huh. Huh. Oh, oh my God. All right. Doesn't look too, too bad. Could have did better, but also could have did worse. Ripping through this. Holy shit. It's it's just it's very clear on where you're supposed to go. It's not like you have to guess. Kinda guide you the way okay I wasn't sure if I was gonna jump over and there'd be nothing there and I just die that would suck all right we made it nobody here it would be kind of weird if there was I'll take that there we go He's a peasy. Yay! Awesome. We got it. Does that mean we get him get our, our spy right away? And it reveals all the tech points. Good stuff. That was moving. Truly. To hear the chimes again, to see that tower the way it's meant to be seen, means everything to the people of this borough. Clock tower is important. It is symbol of the government and its ability to function, even in war. We need to remind people that our culture is one of unity, not oppression. It represents our parliamentary democracy. To have Albion deface it the way they did? It's clear what they were up to. Thank you, DedSec. Hell yeah. Borough Uprising rewards DedSec support. Complete borough activities to increase DedSec support. Londoners in defiant boroughs are more willing to join DedSec. Tech points. Remaining tech points will be revealed on the map when a borough becomes defiant. Skilled recruits. Skilled recruits have abilities or weapons that are valuable to DedSec. 
When a burrow becomes defiant, a skilled recruit will be added to the team. Brilliantly done. Westminster will surely rise up against Albion after this. Thank you. Awesome. One down. Didn't even take long. Yep. Recruit. Mm. Let's see what her abilities are. She's got a, not, a P9 silenced pistol. Spy watch. Gen, jam enemy weapons. That's pretty cool. A spy car with missiles and, and a cloak. And takes less damage. That's fucking awesome. She's got a gun that actually kills, so that's kind of cool. And it's silenced, so that'll come in handy for sure. We got a couple guys down here that we can uh, also go for at some point, but I mean, we got the skilled recruits. Who gives a fuck? All right, so when we come back, we are going to do um, this main mission, Bloody Mary Kelly. We're going to go investigate the Sandstone Residence. So that'll be good. We probably won't use this character though. Uh, we'll probably switch to someone else. Maybe Joe. I really like playing as Joe, honestly. Um, but anyway, until we come back, like, subscribe, stay safe, and thank you for watching. And as always, I will catch you in the next episode.